Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Zero, and welcome to Left Alone. Left Alone is a psychological horror game where a man who intends to meet his friends in the forest ends up stuck in a horror situation. You play as Joel Dent, former United States Marine Corps Special Forces, father of two and recent divorcee. He served for 12 years as one of the highest ranking officers and worked his way to captain before being discharged after suffering massive head trauma on duty. Joel was highly regarded as one of the best company grade officers and received the highest commendation, Medal of Honor, for his undeniable bravery while on operation. He spent 18 months in a medically induced coma. Doctors said the odds are extremely low that he will ever wake again. Despite this, his two former squad mates, Mike and Philly, visited him almost every day and watched him make a full physical recovery over the next year. Joel still suffers from occasional disorientation and blackouts, which he has regular checkups for. Joel was left having to build a new life for himself, in a new city, in a job he doesn't like, and without the comfort of his children and wife who left him for a new man in New York when he was still in a coma. Joel hasn't seen his best friends for the last six months as they were on deployment. They arranged to meet up for a weekend away on a back-to-basics fishing trip to reminisce about the old days. They arranged a meeting off a hiking trail in the forests of Wisconsin, which is a good traveling distance for all three of them. Okay, general movement, same, pick up. Uh, flashlight, F on and off, B, check number of batteries, Q, replace battery. Wow. We have manually replace the batteries. Sprint, jump, uh, mostly pretty typical. So I guess we're meeting him out in the woods here for a fishing trip. Uh, ooh, we got a text message. Hey Joel, can't wait to see you tomorrow. It's been so long. Hey man, yes, it'll be nice to get away from here. Need a break with the guys. We've gone fishing. We'll be back soon. Follow the trail to the camp. Maybe collect some sticks and rocks to build a campfire. And then you should do. I might gonna literally have to collect sticks and rocks like a more <laughs> quest. Before you can unlock the horror story. Click some stick and rocks, and bring them back for five gold. Anyway, um, a quick guess about the plot. Considering most of these stories, like I've seen a lot of movies and games and stuff, and he's in a coma. If at the end, it's gonna be a twist where he's still in the coma all along. Or something, or he's passing away. Uh, I'm gonna be a little disappointed because that's very easy to come by. I suppose I am actually supposed to collect rocks. Wow. Well, let's collect them. I don't know if there's a point too, but might as well. Well, I'm here. Sticks, rock. Sticks seem harder to find than the other. You know, you know what? I don't think they'll care if I collect enough rocks. Actually, I do need to make the campfire. Okay, so they were literal about that. I picked up some matches. Some more sticks. There we go. Wood. Like a campfire. Because we're playing the forest right now. Now I'm just gonna leave this fire unattended. Make sure to set up your tent and have a drink of water if you're feeling thirsty after a walk. It won't be long. Okay. So set up a tent. Okay, tent set up, magically. Now we need some water. 
This is why right here, right? Oh boy, that was laced with something. Bruh. Two hours later. Remind me never to listen to my friends. This be a flashlight look tour tutorial. Make sure it's oh man, everyone's dying. Torch. I know where this game was. Got some batteries. Check the batteries. And that's a switch to batteries. Okay. Good. This is not a flawless flashlight per se. I don't basically mean that in a negative way, but more of you can tell by the little bit of lag behind my pointer. It's getting that kind of Blair Witch feel right now. I think we're fine. There's some light up over there. Don't go down the roads. Huh? What? Question mark. Power plant key code 97. I guess I'm supposed to get the other half of this map. There it is. No, oh, it seems we crashed on the Silent Hill. That's odd. Let's just follow the light for now. I'm not sure if I'm going the right place. 10 kilometers per hour. Let's go, bus is stopping forever, let me tell you. There's another school bus. Low bridge ahead. Uh, another poor school bus. Whoever is in charge of these school bus routes needs to reevaluate the maps. This looks like exactly what I need, but I can't grab it. Door is locked. I got a board. That's something. I got never board. That's something too. I think I'm doing things vastly out of order right now. Let's go back. Alright. High voltage, be careful. Can't really go that way, I go in between. Don't kill me. I'm assuming this is locked. Okay. So we gotta find the other piece of that map first before we can open this thing. There's another board over here. I'm collecting boards. At the moment, I'm assuming we're gonna have to make a bridge. Yes. As we cross the spooky pond. Maybe the map is over here.
So far, this place is pretty chill. I mean, gotta worry about wolves, but that you know, let's go in the wilderness. You worry about wolves. I don't know about you guys. Needs power. Well, it's the official closure issue of Mount Fi High School. Mount High High School, whatever. Wisconsin. Correct confirming that the decision has been made to close the school due to exposure to toxic waste. Wow. That's something. That's a. Uh, it's a good reason to close a school, I guess. I see one bunch of X Men running around. Map piece acquired. That's exactly what I needed. Fucking found in these. Going back. All the way back. Okay. 9724. What's that noise? Be bees? Well, let's just put the code in. Hopefully nothing happens. 9724. Good. Take them keys. Now... Oh god, we need switches. This really is a series of fetch quests. So we got the keys, we go back to the cabin. We open the door. We get the power switches. And we go back and we... Open the thing. It's just blood. A little blood never hurt anybody. It's just, you know... Melissa Jenner kills seven. Mount High suspected killer on loose. He is a main suspect in the school murders of six children. And he was lived in a cabin right next to it, apparently. If off officers have closed the school during the investigation, the log cabin that he usually takes refuge in was left abandoned. Oh. Well, I mean, it's abandoned, that's... That's one of them. What? I'm seeing things now. Yeah. Not good. School buses. Things have been really slow for a decent story at work. I don't think I have long left until I get the sack. Mr. Thompson has been a total dick lately, ever since Mike stole the Jenkins farm story off me last month. Always was a slimy douche. I really need a decent story, and the Mountain High school killings will be an epic article and would probably make it to the front page. Probs. The school is off limits to the toxic spill, but I have come prepared. You didn't capitalize your eye, you bastard. I managed to get a gas mask off Peter from Medical Sand Corp. He owed me a favor. I mean, I know I could get in a fuckload of trouble for going in, but I could just run the story as an anonymous interview for some old student. You never been out alive. Shit. Grab the... Grab the thing of a thing. Maybe I need new batteries? Yeah. Okay. Someone like painting as they were getting on their murdering? So we'll, we'll leave. Don't look back. That's what they want you to do. Look back, you die. 
I heard that, you know, just like that one dude that was tall. Thin guy. Look back and die. My first go around. Yay. I said right. Power on. Change power. happening. I wasn't sure what that was. Like radio interference? Probably hitting at the ending. Here's my stupid theory. If the coma thing is true and you're still in the hospital, the bee noise I was hearing earlier is some kind of medical equipment. Flip the switch. Gonna light up the night. Welcome to class. No one will be attending your demise. Nothing found. Oddly enough, the power seemed to be on the school. Very strange indeed. I managed to find the button to open the main school gate. This place is really weird, eerie. Hard to think that this was a fully functioning boarding school. Main entrance was locked. And I found a set of keys in the security board cabin? I guess these might open that side door. All seems a bit too easy, this. It's probably just psychological, but I could swear someone is following me. It will be that janitor, huh? Something's happening. God, why are there so many school buses at school? Why are the lights on? Well, I am King of the Fountain, apparently. can't get into the front. It's blocked by the vulnerable binds of vulnerability. So it's gotta be like a side door, side entrance, something. Those trash cans. Hopscotch. Little playground. Basketball riding a horse. Two basketballs. Three basketballs. Okay, this looks fun. We're using the light from our phone and the battery is almost dead. We found some paint in one of the classrooms and paint arrows leading to where we are. Search for your friends. Reminds me of the text that came up during one of the Splinter Cell games. Classroom. One one ten, Mr. Hopkinson. No, this is a weird hallway. I guess... 
a weird bathroom too. I don't think I'm the first person to visit since the killings. There are signs of vandalism, graffiti on the walls everywhere, classrooms, trash, damaged ceilings. It seems as if they couldn't be bothered locking down the school properly. My best bet is to see if I can get into the security room. Maybe they left the videotapes and that'd be an epic evidence. Epic. For my story. The rumors are that the killings actually happened here in the school and the police tried to cover up by saying the kids went missing. They then deliberately create a toxic waste spill so that the school had to be evacuated with immediate effect. Good job. Probably. Or most likely I'm in a coma. I, I'm not hundred percent sure that's what's gonna happen. What do the numbers mean, Mason? Hard work is a two-way street. You get back exactly what you put in. The maths room. Would they do this for you? What's happening? Because people don't seem to enjoy my enthusiasm. Uh, I'll be frank, I... Wonder. Please sit down quietly and begin the assessment on your desk. The second part of this lesson will be your favorite. Algebra... No. No, that's... It's not my favorite. Boy, oh, it's sure dark and spooks up here. Arrow. Dog. The arrow says go that way. I've never been betrayed by a dog before. So I think I'm fine. Class of 2011. Basketball? That's too many basketballs to be a coincidence. Maybe it's just a basketball opening doors. They do that, right? I feel like my flashlight... Yeah, it's getting dimmer. No wonder I couldn't see. Oh, let's follow the arrow. Paintings. That murderer dude loved to paint, didn't he? Hello? Brian Dillon. Are these the kids who died? Let's see. Here we go. Let's see. I proved marginally. A janitor came in the room to empty the bins and Brian started calling out disgraceful names towards him. The boys carried on hurling abuse to the janitor to remove them from class. Hmm. Did the janitor target these students who gave him a hard time? Oh, great. I'm going back into the hole. Gotta find me a key card and it's locked. Manly Badass Hero, professional key card explorer. If you're missing a key card, I'll find it. Some noises. A very noise reliant game. The need a crowbar. Ooh, there's quite a few items I actually need. Another painting. Cans. Well. He ain't doing anything over here. We need a crowbar, we think we need a key, and we need a key card. 
what a list. So we're going on on the other way. Let's see if we find anything here. These only crowbars. Anything in here? Please sit down and log on to a computer. You really had out for these two kids. Nothing found. We're on batteries at this point. No. Oh. Any keypads now too. Oh boy. He still runs these halls. Get out while you still can. Great. Well, that battery dies fast. Why would he want me to meet me here? I haven't spoke to him for ages, and now the blue lets me in a forest. I should have known. Maybe Dave found out about my affair with Michelle. Said him dressed in a long coat. Good job, a military man. He came up behind me, but when I was able to disarm him, I tried to restrain him, but he got away. Cut me pretty bad. I'm going to find him, and then this one's fall. He acts so innocent, but he is a control freak. She doesn't love him. Well, you guys got problems. Here we go, art room. Sam Hawks, English. Something, something. Continuing to talk, warning given, refused to something. I would not give way, Tim replied. After doing fuck all. Boy, I cannot read that at all. Don't trust the paintings. You know, yeah, I guess gotta supply me some more batteries. Computer room. Thank you. Okay, a storeroom. Nothing found. Question mark. Nothing found. Nothing found. Batteries acquired. Computer lab. I thought I'd get this open. Batteries acquired. I need plenty of those. So what's in the computer lab? A shield. Nothing. 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 A circle. Nothing. A triangle. Some. What was that? Ah, it's just a spooky noise. So, star. Triangle. Circle. Shield. Seven. Seven, seven. So, triangle, star, triangle, circle. Two. So, two. Diamond.
one. I don't think there was a diamond on the thing, but I'm gonna write down that number anyway. We go triangle. Four. Circle. Six. Two, four, six, seven. Nice. That was a good one. Need a crowbar. A power cut occurs. Please use a power distributor to assign the zones in zones need the necessary power. Only three zones can receive power at one time, including the school lights when in backup power mode. No one needs power at all times. Nope. I managed to find the code to the security room. It was written in a notebook. It must have been one of the security team members. I sat through what felt like hours of videotapes, but I found something. The janitor had taken two students down into the laundry room. I knew there was something about that room. Yet one of them tied up then made him watch as he beat the other with some sort of weapon. It was extremely hard to watch, but it's good evidence for my story. I can see it now. Police cover up. Beatings and torture took place in school hours right on the nose of the head teacher. Strong but effective, I guess. Okay. Ventilation system is on force currently broken. I don't know, man. What the? If you got what it takes. Ghost can't harm me. I'm the ghost. Make all the spooky noises you want. They can't touch me. It's not corporal. Unless you actually are corporal, you're just some killer dude. And I'm screwed. Come on, buddy. Boot on up. You're not booting up. Oh, here we go. Please advise that the code for the storeroom has been changed due to an incident in which some students had an altercation with the janitor. Let's see, Marin has now been done with 3129. It's gone. No, wait, no, it's still there. You can't harm me, ghost! Yeah, very relatively straightforward code, didn't you? Get some batteries. Could use a crowbar. Odd. Locked. Weird hallway, man. Pick up bulb. Okay. I could hear noises, bones from the basement. It seems to be from the laundry room. The door is solid. No way I'm getting in there. This must be where those incidents happened with the kids. The school's really messed up. I think I saw something down one of the corridors. I don't know what the hell it is. It was short, quick, really strange looking. Maybe I'm just seeing things. Nah, no, I'm definitely seeing things. I'm going to see if I can find any more info or clues. What you taught me? A bolt cutter. I'm getting a lot of items, but... Um... Not sure what to use them on. It says, well, forever. But recently, these meddling kids won't leave me alone. They're on to me, I know it. I'm going to have to do something about them. Term break is coming up soon. I'm sure no one will notice if they don't make it home. Damn, you planned this out. 
So the school will be no more with a toxic waste plan about that happened. They think they know me. They need me. I've protected them for years. Now I can take this away from me. I have my fun before this place becomes a ghost town. I might keep the... What? Well, I can open the gym, I guess. The bolt cutter. Seems to be my goal. Those are bulbs. I'm not sure what I'm doing with those. I don't know, maybe something will come into my head. Shit, what the hell was that? Ah, oh, it's just a chain. Basketballs. They haunt me. All they do is bounce. Bounce without a care in the world. Until they will find me. And they will kill me. Until then, I live free. Yes, that made perfect sense. These lockers are like damn cauldrons. I mean, uh, coffins. Well, I can farm these. Get more batteries, I guess. Get in the shower. It's all a lie, a cover up. What's a cover up? Shit! I should have turned my flashlight on. Note Shall we make you my next pet? I went to leave for the fire door. But of course it's locked. It's like I'm in a horror game. You are... Fourth wall. I'll find every way. But first let me take a self selfie. I'm joking, I don't do selfies. I'm sure you do, Mr. Epic. I'd read my friend to come help me, but there is no signal in here. It just gets better. Shit. I have just run back to the security room and I've hidden in the locker. I heard footsteps and rattle of keys. No joking this time. Someone is in the school. Now the lights have just gone out. I saw him. He came into the security room. He was wearing a large coat and hood. Was it the janitor? Surely not. He didn't hear me. I have my hand over my mouth. I'm really spooked. There must be an exit that is open. Never is. Life is never that easy. It's always really hard. I hear that spooky music. You don't think I don't notice that? Screw you too. Shit. Well, my life sucks. 